To the Northwest Coast First Nations, the salmon symbolize instinct, determination, prosperity, and renewal. For millennia, salmon have been a primary food source. After the fish were eaten, the skeleton would be placed back in the ocean, allowing the spirit to rise again and continue the cycle of life. This is a sign of deep respect and gratitude. Pagan Celts believe the salmon to be one of the wisest and most ancient of all animals. They represent wisdom, transformation, and inspiration. Returning home to reproduce, they swim upstream through emotional waters, overcoming all obstacles and gaining spiritual insight. This is the essence of the shaman's quest for knowledge and the journey to find the true self. Salmon are anadromous living in both salt and fresh water. After hatching in creeks and rivers, they swim to the sea, transforming their body coloration and gills to adapt to the ocean. After two to three years, they make the long journey back to the exact river where they were born, sometimes traveling over 3,000 kilometers to reach their spawning grounds. Shifting from blackish blue to bright red and green, they struggle their way upstream to lay and fertilize their eggs hence birthing the next generation. The adult salmon then die, leaving their decaying bodies on the riverbanks. The cycle completes and simultaneously starts anew. The return of the salmon each season offers an abundant food source for over 50 species, such as bears, eagles, wolves, sea lions, and otters. The decaying remains of the fish carried by animals into the forest provide an immense and vital transfer of nutrients from the ocean infusing nitrogen, sulfur, calcium, carbon, and phosphorus into the forest ecosystem. Wild salmon is among the richest source of omega-3 essential fatty acids and the highest vitamin D source of any known food. Today, many runs of Pacific salmon species are declining. Threats to their survival include overfishing, habitat destruction, and the parasites and diseases from industrial open net feedlot salmon farms. Please care for the waters, forests, animals, and future generations. Please choose to eat only wild salmon. Humankind has not woven the web of life. We are but one thread within it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. All things are bound together. All things connect. Chief Seattle Duwamish, 1780 to 1800.